Baby girl, you the one I adore. Your love bring me serenity. Every night I pray before I sleep because I found you. Love you. No, no, God, I do this for real. Mitch Mafia, how are you guys feeling today? I hold blessed, of course. As for me, I am feeling blessed. I feel good. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. It's one of those days where it's just like you just want to be home. You don't want to stay home all day. You don't want to do nothing. We're gonna go pick up Sheik Sheik. from Long Island City. He's at a Christmas party without us. Like, who do you think he is? Now we're just gonna go ruin all his fun and time to bring his butt home. Time to bring your butt home. So, uh, hold on. My sister's calling Hello. me. What's up, sis? My eyes are supposed to the principal, right? Yeah. She was like, well, I wasn't informed of this or whatever. I was like, well, I'm going to be here tomorrow, and I would like for you to find out who these kids, and I want to meet with parents and everything, and I don't understand why the hell y'all don't have no monitor. If you guys want to know what's going on, when I went to go pick up baby Z, my nephew also goes to that school as well, and he's in second grade. He was telling me that when he went to the bathroom with one of his friends, that there was two boys in there and they were basically like leaning on the wall with a pencil and they kept saying that they was gonna stab my nephew and his friend. And I'm like, what? Guys, the world we live in, first of all, can't put nothing past nobody, not a kid, not nobody. But almost 100% of the time, these kids are learning these things from home and thinking that it's cool. You know what I'm saying? They could have really hurt my nephew. This is a very, very big deal. And what she was saying was that she called the school and that the principal was saying that she wasn't aware of any of this. But they told her to write an incident report. They have to do like a little bit more investigating to make sure that that's what really happened because sometimes, you know, kids make the situation bigger. I'm like, no kid is gonna make that up. You have to take action. You don't let nothing like this slide. I know she is tired. <laughs> I woke up at 4.30 in the morning and he was still on 2K. And I was like, first of all, do you know Con Edison? Because I don't. Then to be up at 6.30, he got up. Daddy. Guys, this is what happens when you play your game from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. And then have to be up at 6.30. Guess where we are? Target. And we are waiting for our drive up. Let's see how fast they come out. Because once they sent me the email, I was already here. But yeah, as soon as we leave here, we have to go to the supermarket to get some stuff for Baby Z's party tomorrow. And then once we get home, we got to start working on her project. And I'm going to cook. So this vlog is definitely going to be a very chill vlog because um, Baby Z definitely has to get that project done. And we have to focus on that. I'm back home. Christmas party was lit lit. I was not lit lit. I was at my school and I am in the teepee. If you guys know where the teepee is, like in the comments. Oh, Daddy's trying to make. Did you say it in the Twin telepathy. He could hear me. Careful. 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 You got her. What? Leave me alone, please. Okay, go to my room. No, you're not. Just stop saying careful, careful. I don't want you to miss it out. This is the first one. <laughs> Can't take any cold. I'm about to come in clutch 
for you pasta lovers because I know that you guys are using that ragu sauce or the prego sauce or whatever yes. sauce you're using. You're probably making your own homemade tomato sauce, but I'm going to show you my way of making my tomato sauce. I got this from my mom, so shout out to my mom because she put me onto this and there is no other tomato sauce that I use. If you guys watched the vlog where she Ew. made his pasta Ew. and he was using the Goya cans, I was making my pasta like that for a long time before we got rid of the ragu sauce. And we used to get the ragu traditional. Mm, oh, right lit. They're doing the project over there. I know I, I took you guys from them, but I had to show you guys this really quickly. How I make my homemade tomato sauce. It is amazing. It's so good. But, um... So yeah, my mom put me onto this. I love it. Oh, I was saying that I was making my sauce with the Goya cans and then I was seasoning myself because I didn't want to use those jars no more. Like if you look at the back of those jars, it's very high in sodium. So many things in that jar. So I'm just like, you know what? I just started using the tomato cans and I just felt like it was healthier for us. And so my mom showed me this way and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So I'm going to show you guys how I make my homemade tomato sauce. Well, let me call it my mom's homemade tomato sauce. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I'm gonna make a shrimp pasta with some avocado on the side. Oh, leave that alone. And yeah, because that's what everybody is craving right now. So that's what we're gonna have. And then once I'm done showing you guys, I'm not really gonna talk through it because I'm trying to hurry up. It's already 8:35. We got home pretty late from picking up Sheik from um, Long Island City, and then we had to run to go get the last minute stuff for Baby Z's project. So we got here a little late. I wanna hurry up. So I'm gonna show you the cans really quickly of what I use. So, this brand right here, the Tutorosso, you're going to grab a can of, one can of the crushed tomatoes, one can of the tomato paste, one can of the tomato sauce, one can of the tomato puree. Yeah, I got the crushed tomatoes, I'll show you guys that. Yeah. So those are the four cans that I'm going to use, and then you're going to get a red onion, and then you're going to cut it right down the middle, and you're going to use that whole onion. And once you put the pasta in, you put that onion right in the middle. Just let it simmer and let it cook until it's hot. Mm. Oh, and then um, you're going to season it with your seasoning. So I put my body up. You guys are going to see. I'm going to show you everything all over again. And the good thing about this, yes, these are big cans, and you're like, oh my goodness, that's a lot of sauce for just, you know, one box of um, noodles could be using the whole grain spaghetti and the good thing about the sauce is that you use whatever you're going to use and then you could put the rest in a jar and store it in the fridge or the freezer whatever works for you when whenever's the next time you're going to make pasta and then you could use that same sauce so it comes in clutch it's it's so good guys i'm already boiling the water for the noodles now i'm gonna get started with the tomato sauce Y'all see that? Let me stop because I'm clumsy. I will break this whole thing. I will drop it right here, right now. <laughs> you can see it nice and clear in there. <laughs> anyway, guys, so the food was delicious. The day was very chill, very calm. Like I told you guys, Baby Z had this project to do, and this was really our only focus. If we focused on anything else, because I really wanted to go to Rockefeller Center today. But this project was very important, and being that tomorrow was her last day before her winter break, we had to get it done. She had a lot of things to do. She had to do the project. She had to do a packet. She had to just do so much. But I wanted to show you guys the project. I don't know if you guys seen before. They showed them the before, which I did. 
I'm sure they seen it. Guys, you know mama had to come through. Let me show you what I did. If y'all seen the before, it looked like they just threw it on the paper, on the board, and that's it. I told she, you can't just do that. But uh, uh, I love it though, it's really cute and creative. Yeah, it looked like I did it. Make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe, turn on your post notification bell so you can get every single video. Try that tomato sauce, it's pretty good. I fought it. No, I'm tired of you. Stop. <laughs> I'm joking. It's a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we love you. <laughs>